Hi Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. In today's tutorial we'll be making a goldfish. The actual texture I got from Pixabay and I will be including the link in the bottom of this tutorial. Today we're going to create this making the goldfish in the first half and in the second half we'll be animating it. Please subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi and welcome to Blender TC. In this tutorial we will be making a goldfish and at the end of the actual video we will be animating the goldfish so it actually it swims across the screen. So let's begin. First of all we're going to actually start off with a cube. I'm just going to cover a few quick keys that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the G key which moves things around. Control Z, G and X, G and Y moves it along the green line. G and X the red, and G and Z on the purple line. Then Control Z actually undoes everything you've just done. We're also going to be using the one key to look from the front view, and let me think the tab key which takes us in and out of edit mode, in out. And we're also going to be using the one, two, and three key. That's on your main keyboard because they actually select point select line select and face select if we go on line select by selecting two or it's in a little icon up there if you prefer and then press ctrl and r this does a loop cut we will also be using this if you click the left mouse button once it allows you to move the cut click it again fixes it and ctrl z undoes back out of edit mode so I've hit the one key there and I'm looking from the actual front in the front view. We also can actually go to the views up here if you want. That's looking from the top. It's from the left. From the front. And of course from the bottom. So if you want to look from the actual front. You can just actually fix on these until you actually... Like I said, the green dot there looks from the front. And if you hit it again, it looks from the back. So let's look from the front. Like I say, I prefer the keys. So we're just going to press the one key on your nine figure pad that actually looks from the front. For this tutorial, we're going to actually use an image. The image, let's add the image. So we're going to add an image, and the image we're going to add is a reference image. And if we look, here I've kept my reference image. I actually downloaded this from Pixabay, but I'll put the link in in the bottom and just double click to actually open it. So what you need to do is download this picture. Or, but if I actually just hide the cube for a second by pressing the H key, look from the front. I'll zoom in a bit. You could even copy it off the screen if you wished. This is a free to use image, but I'd suggest that you actually download the high resolution image because it'll look better on your fish. Alt H unhides everything. So with the left click, select your cube. And I'm going to go to the one key and we're going to scale this down and scale it, scale it, scale it, scale it. Because what we want to do, that's about the thick, the tail thickness, G, here is about the thickness of the fish. If you were to look from it there, that's about as thick as the fish would be. You can make your fish fat or thin or whatever you want to do, but that's entirely up to you. But that's just a rule of thumb that seems to work for fish. So select the cube and I'm going to scale this up by pressing the S key and then the X key to scale in the X direction. And I'm just going to G and move it so it's more or less over the fish. That control Z to undo that. I'm going to do that from the front, so G and X, and I'm just going to make it so it's more or less the same size as the fish. And this is where the loop cut comes in. So press the tab key with line select selected, select the line, control and R. And what we're going to do is press the S key, then the Z key, because we only want to scale in this in the Z direction. And we're just going to move that up to there. Control and select the line next to it. Control and R. 
scale it up to there in fact control Z you only want to actually scale in this in the Z direction because you don't want to check make it all sorts of different shape thickness because if you just went to R and just scaled it like that sorry control on R and scaled it as you can see it scales everything so we only want to scale it in the Z direction so looking from the front control and R scale in the Z direction scale in the Z direction there we go control R left and left again to fix it scale and Z and I'm just going to scale it up there one final cut in there control and R scale Z scale and Z you've got to remember when you actually do a loop cut to click that left mouse button twice just to actually fix it and then what I'm going to do is select the front face so in edit mode by pressing the tab key select the front face and then I'm going to scale that down but I want to scale this in all directions so I'm just going to scale this down until it's about the size of the mouth scale scale and left click just to fix it and G and Z I'm just going to move it up there so it's about in line with the mouth so we're now getting something that looks a bit like a fish but not entirely so what I'm going to do now is actually go on line select select this top line control and R and then I'm going to type 2 or you can move your left mouse button but you would just want two cuts there and double left click fixes it so we've now got something that looks a bit like a fish but not exactly so this is where the alt key comes in select this line press the alt key and left click then hold the shift down hold the alt key down and select this line as you can see it's selected all the way around this edge it's barely visible but you've got a orange line and select that line and select that line you're doing this by pressing the shift and alt key together and left clicking so now you've got all those selected the only thing we don't want selected is this line on the these four lines on the front so with the shift selected you can deselect these lines so we've deselected those and then we're going to scale this down by pressing the S key this time we're going to actually press the 3 key and look from the front um, not from the front from the right and scale down and as you can see we're just getting the fish shape so there's our basic fish what we haven't got is we haven't got the actual fin that goes up here and we haven't got the actual tail that goes there but that's easily fixed what we're going to do is we're going to actually set, select this line here by pressing the alt key and the left click GG to move and what we're going to do is move that just there what I'm doing is putting the loop cuts in here just at the end of these fins control and R again GG will move it in itself and I'm just making the loop cut just end at that fin and this one here I'm just going to alt to select so you actually select the line so if you press the alt key and left click it selects all the way around this loop cut right. one key on the nine figure pad just to actually look from the front or you can use the views up here like I said so GG just to move that to the front of that fin there and we just need one more loop cut about here control and R just to get the back of that fin 
I'm not going to bother with the fin here for this tutorial, but it's up to you if you wanted to add that fin. Right. Control, right. The next bit I'm going to do is control an R and move my mouse wheel up one just so I get two cuts. And there we have it. We've got that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this face here and I'm going to press the X key, which is delete. And I'm just going to delete just the face, only faces, just to delete that face. And that makes my uh, fish fish's mouth. So I now want to thin fin up on the top. So let's have a look. Control and R. Oh, sorry. Go on line select. And I'm going to select this top line here. And Control and R. And just hit my mouse wheel up. Or if you prefer. On the normal keyboard, just hit two and left click twice will fix it. Right. So for the fins, what we're going to do is we're going to select this face here, select this face here, and select this face here. And I'm going to hit the right key and I'm going to extrude along the normals, which takes it up there. Don't worry about it doing it in a a strange place because what we're going to do is hit the one key and G and X which moves it along the red line and we'll move it in line with that and G and Z just to move it up and same with this what we'll do is we'll select this back line here hit in the one key and we'll G and X just to line this up with the fin if you can see it G and Z it's about somewhere like that G and X G and Z G and Z you can also hit this little box here which enables you to actually see through your fish if you prefer and select this line and GG just to move it along its line G and Z to move it down and I'm just making that fin or roughly making that fin what I want to do is select this line GG just to move it along there and G and Z and I've now made my fin Fact, I'm just going to move that to G and X, G and Z, and you can put a loop cut into here if you wish. Control and R, I'm just making the basic shape of G and Z the fin. So there we go, that's my top fin done. I'm just going to make the bottom fin, we do that in exactly the same way. Because the actual white will bleed onto the actual the model that you're making, it does make it so the uh, so it, it just looks good for some reason. Because goldfish sometimes have white on them anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. So, right click again. Extrude it along the normals and we'll just select it down to about there. Look from the front G and Z just to move it down, G and X move it across so you've got the rough shape. And if I select this edge here and G and Z just move it up until we've got the basic shape. Well, it's up to you. You can spend as much time as you want on this. Or control. See, that's what happens if you actually just free move things. That's why I actually use the constraints of G and Z and G and X and stuff like that. So, control and Z to undo that. So, G and Z. 
and it just means you've got more control G and X as you can see that's me bottom fin and same with this one and we're just going to keep on going until we get everything done so extrude along normals extrude along the normal we'll only do it across the, the line where that is facing so that's why I'm using that and G and Z to move it down G and X to move it across G and Z so it's, it's very very rough this you know it's just until you get the feel of it because what we're doing is we're going to make this low poly model into an high poly model but later so G and Z so I've got one fin two fins top fin so all that's left to do is the tail as you can see that looks like it's a bit far forward so what we're going to do is we're going to move it all that the other way so I'm just going to show you another set of key hits select this front here and what we're going to do is grow selection by pressing the control key and pressing plus and just by doing that it's selected everything around it so if I do, now do G and X I can then move it just to where I want it G and Z which is about there and then if we just select face select and select these faces by holding the shift key down what we're going to do is we're going to extrude press the E key in the X direction Control Z if you have that happen what we're going to do is press the E key press the X key until you see the red line appear and we're just going to move it to the end of the tail here and we're just going to scale it up scale and Z till we get to where we want it to be G and Z just to move it central and scale and Z just to move it up there and I'm going to select this middle one up from the front G and X if you find out the, the red line doesn't appear pressing X again will make it real will make it appear and we'll just move it that way and I'm just going to scale this down scale Z just so I get that fish sort of shape and last but not least I'm just going to select this face here press the control key to go all the way around shift key to select this front one and that all the way around from there don't think I want to actually select that face there so I'm just going to deselect it by holding the shift key and hit it again with the left click and just to get the shape of this I'm going to press the free key on my nine figure pad and scale in the Y direction which is along the green line just to get the rough shape of my fish so there it is got my goldfish oh it's not very but it's not very realistic is it so what I'm going to do is actually select line select I'm going to select this edge here press the alt key which then will select all the way around I'm going to scale this up because that's going to be the mouth scale just to about there E to extrude S to scale and I'm just going to scale it in slightly because I want to actually make a pair of lips here so what I'm going to do is select this edge here go on face select and I'm just going to extrude that out a little bit so E and X twice to make it go where I want it to and I'm just going to make a pair of lips there so there we have it we've got our goldfish or a very rough rough looking goldfish what we need to do now is add a subdiv subdivision modifier so I'm just going to hit the actual spanner or wrench if you're American hit that add the subdivision modifier I'm going to take this up to two and as you can see we've now got our fish 
I'm not very happy about these here so what I'm going to do is take that in slightly so select that line there select that line there scale in the y direction and I'm just taking that in so I just didn't like the way that looked and I'm going to select these points on these edges and I'm going to scale them in the y direction as well just to get a better shape scale and y that's it uh, right click to smooth select so now we've got a fish I so say the fish it's entirely up to you how you do this and the more you actually play around with this fish the better they become it's like the tail there is a bit short so I'm just selecting the tail by pressing the shift key down now and what I've done is actually selected that point there selected that point there selected that point there and I'm just going to play around with this until I like it so scale G and X and you get the idea so we've now got our fish press from the one press the one key and what we're going to do now is ha add the image to our fish as you can see the mouse rounded off a bit it's a bit square but it depends what you want from your fish and what you want it to look like so I'm just going to actually look from the front there I'm going to go into UV editing mode as you can see select up here and go into render mode just to actually see our fish tab key takes me out of edit mode and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the image so select this here add the image bait in this yellow dot it used to be on the other side now it's on this side in this in uh, blender 2.9 so select the little dot and add an image texture all right so i've added an image texture and what i'm going to do is open the image texture and what we're going to open is wherever you've saved that actual picture of the fish that you use for your reference mine's there i'm just going to select it and as you can see it's now selected the fish there and if i hit my little picture up here as you can see we've got the goldfish and i can fetch it up there i'm now looking from the front press the tab key to go into edit mode a to select up well i forgot to do one thing right what we need to do is we just need to apply this modifier here so select this little line and apply this has now made our fish a lot more complicated but it's going to be perfect for what we need so in edit mode we're in edit mode up here which is very similar to the modeling screen but it's that's your uv editing screen so we're looking from the side here scroll nice and close press the u key and what we're going to do is project from view and as you can see we've now got the lattice of our fish and it's quite simple a to select all s to scale and we're going to scale this until we've got our full fish like so as long as the eyes look right it tends to look right tab key to come out of edit mode and if we add the actual him image select the image press the h key as you can see we've now got our goldfish there we go we've now made our goldfish the light on it doesn't look right so we'll just uh, we're going to alter the actual uh, alter this slightly so go into the shading tab and what we're going to do is we're going to enable a few features so if you hit this little box here which is the render engine we're going to enable screen space reflect reflections in there open this tab up here and hit refractions because we want this to actually shine like it looks wet 
and have a bit of depth to it. Right, so we've got this fish there. I'm just going to shrink this up slightly. I don't like this so much and it's a bit complicated, but I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Select the top of this, move it to one side. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in a vector. And what we're going to do is called a normal map. So select the normal map and click that into there. And we'll select this from there, color to color, normal to normal. And as you can see, that's made it a bit shiny. Or made it a bit strange if you want to look at it that way. And you can adjust the strength here just to adjust the actual shininess of your fish and make it look a lot nearer, uh, more real. And just hit the shininess here. And there's one last thing to actually do on this. So if you actually go into the material properties window here and right down the bottom, we want this material to exhibit screen pace refractions. So hit that and that'll just make it nice and shiny. As you can see, it's now catching the light, which makes our wet fish look wet. That's our fish done. Now it's quite simple. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to make this swim. So go back into modeling, out of edit mode, make sure you're in rendered mode. As you can see, the lighting's terrible. So what I've done is I've got some lighting, uh, some environmental lighting. So you hit the actual well tab here and the environmental texture that I've got. I got it from HDR at Haven, I believe. So if I hit that little, if I open my HDR work, which is HDR Haven, and I'm going to actually put the abandoned parking lot image that I've downloaded. There we go. So we've got our abandoned parking lot, and we've now got our fish. Just going to add a plane, mesh, plane, scale it up. G and Z. Add the abandoned parking lot to this image as well. Oh, just, oops, no, that's the fish. <laughs> just let me create another image. So I'm just going to take that away from there. Plus, no. Uh, environmental texture. You can actually add it to a plane as well. And let's have a look. open it. And I forgot to add it again. So, D, Blender Work, HDR. So, if I actually go into HDR Evan and say you want to actually add a shortcut to your Blender files to save you having to look for them, all you've got to do is add it to your favourites here. And that's just put it in there. And I'm just going to select that. Abandoned parking lot. Bit overkill. But as you can see, what's that done is actually put the actual colours of my plane into there. And if I scale this up, as you can see, I'm just going to scale it up. And it's just added the grass to my plane. And you can see the shadows on my fish quite simple next thing we're going to add is we're going to add something that's going to distort our fish so first of all what we want to do is zero makes us look through our camera uh, I'm just going to scale my fish down slightly so it's a little bit smaller and in the 250 frames we've got what we're going to do is we're going to go into animation up here and you can actually select on rendered view if you want up there and zero will mean we'll look through our camera so we're just going to take the fish take it slightly out of shot so G and X just to about there and we'll press the I key what pressing the I key does is it'll actually fetch the 
insert keyframe up so location and scale so what I've done is inserted a keyframe at that end so that holds the fish there and so if I press shift and right click on your sorry right to take you to the end of the animation or you can type into here 250 just to take you to the end of this animation you can also increase the length of the animation by just changing this number here so go to 250 G and X just to move our fish off shot then press the I key again lock rotation at scale and if we press our spacebar now what we'll see is our fish travels from end to end but as you can see there's no there's no movement in our fish this makes it really really boring if you unless you like really boring fish it makes it look a bit more like a torpedo good effect for a torpedo I had a bit of waves coming out of the back of it but there you go so what I'm going to do is stop that press shift and left click on on the arrows on my keyboard just to take it to the front frame frame and what I'm going to add now is I'm going to add a lattice modifier so back into modeling so press our space bar you can see that it got it'll take our fish right across our screen come out of edit mode and what I'm going to do is add a lattice modifier lattice modifier which adds this little square in there in fact what I'm going to do is come out of that so you, we've added our little square which is our lattice if you go into the lattice here what I'm just going to do is change this to 64 change this to 4 change this to 4 and then I'm going to scale my lattice along the Z direction sorry control C I'm going to scale my lattice across the X direction so what I'm going to do is I've got that there I'm backing off slightly shift and left arrow will take you to the front of the animation right arrow will take to the end to the end of the animation so let's just select that and scale in the X direction and what we're doing is we're actually moving these lines up just so it sort of just touches the nose of our fish and this is the thing that's going to make the actual fish wiggle in fact that's a bit complicated so I'm just going to take that down to three in their directions so like I said this is the thing that's going to make our fish wiggle so select from the top and press the tab key to take us into edit mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select with the actual alt key selected uh, sorry not alt key shift key selected see I'm selecting those points and I'm going to do that this is a bit time consuming so I'm looking from the top by pressing the 7 key and I'm going to select every alternate one like so right until the end of my 64 one so I'm just selecting the actual every other one like so first of all I did this just to actually make it the actual tail wiggle and then you add a bit of distortion let's move that along by holding my uh, middle mouse button down so it's hard to see this I wonder if I can change the actual preferences to make this easier to see because that arrow there is very hard to see there we go what I'm doing is left clicking and just drawing a boundary box all the way around every other set of dots and it will become quite apparent why I'm doing this at the end 
that's a bit time consuming because you've got to select 32 of these because we set this to 64 up here yeah. every other one and there aren't many left now they're in All right, so we've got all those points selected and now what I'm going to do is press the G key and the X key oh, no, sorry, it's the Y key I want and I'm going to move those up there just to I'll say G and C uh, G and Y sorry I'm just going to do a bit of a wiggle so there we have it we've now got like a wiggly line and the way that we make this actually work with our mesh is let's just go back into rendered mode alt h to make everything appear go into our fish so out of it out of edit mode by pressing the tab key select the fish and it's our spanner here and we're going to add a modifier and the modifier we're going to add is the lattice so we select the lattice and then in the object we're going to actually select lattice again which means that when this fish now moves across this lattice it will be distorted by the lattice so oh, press the 7 key and press the space bar and as you can see Our fish wiggles down this line which makes it look like it's swimming so if we look through our camera we can see our fish swim down this and then it's just a case of selecting our lattice selecting some points just do some general distortions maybe select this here which is proportional editing select the point then it'll just move things around it depending on this wheel here so, as you can see I'm now altering the, thing, altering the actual fish and wherever you put this lattice that's where your fish will go that's about right so, thank you for actually watching this blender TC tutorial I'm just gonna hide the lattice just to make it a bit more visible so H to hide the lattice and like I say you have to play around with the actual lattice to make it look more real and I'll just show you after a lot of playing about how I made this fish I think the actual surface is a bit wrong there so I'm just going to change the surface slightly sometimes you've got to muck around with the surface a bit too reflective and just increase the roughness slightly just to make it less shiny and less reflective so let me open up one that I have messed about with for quite a while so I'm just going to open this open recent and this is going to be my finished fish in fact I'm going to just save this because you never know file save as I need that for another day so finish fish 2 so I'm just going to put that onto 2 save as but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up open up finish fish 1 as you can see what I've done there is done I've done a, a lot more gentler curve so this actually just get less of a wiggle high my lattice as you can see that's what you can achieve with this simple effect it's all to do with the lattice 
and now you actually set it up. Thank you for watching Blender TC and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.